Hi, Air Signs. My name is Debbie, and I'm an intuitive reader. And I'm here today to give you guys your bonus readings for all the Air Signs out there. Hopefully, you guys are doing well, guys. Don't forget to smash that like button, share, comment down below as well as subscribe. And check out the link, the Amazon link to my new book, Accepting the Gift, all about the paranormal, my, all my journey. Such a cool book. It's all story after story about it. So let's get into it here. We're going to start off first for the sign of Libra. Libra, Libra. What does the sign of Libra need to know here? Wow, you got the power couple. King and queen of wands here does represent fire sign here. Does not have to be whom you're dealing with, but I feel that somebody wants a completion and is willing now to communicate that to you here. You're looking at the length of time, so I do feel for some, not all. I am feeling a little bit of doubt whether or not you trust them, believe them, that they're really sticking around here. Believe me, I'm a Libra, I get it too. Uh, but definitely with the power couple of that King of Wands right after that, looking at the length of time too, that tells me is that they're willing to put in that show, showing that effort with that wand energy, but more so uh, knowing that they have to really put in this work. It's going to take some time to recoup the energy of this relationship again and putting in that work again, but they're willing and determined to do so. So that's what I have. That's a nice spread. You know, you do you. Everybody's going to be different, definitely. Gemini. Gemini. Whoopsie. All right, Gemini, what's going on, man? <laughs> what is going on? There you go. Holding your power, lover's card. Each major arcana holds their own energy here. Uh, you guys do represent the sign of, or the card of lovers here. So definitely making a decision to regroup with your thoughts, your, your emotions here, your balance, your overall balance, okay? You're going to continue to wait, I feel, with these two cards added together. That's the nine of, nine of uh, uh, pentacles here, but definitely waiting this out, continuing to put balance into something after somebody walked away, okay? So it's kind of like, I'm going to do my thing, you know? That's what I'm feeling for Gemini. They're going to be returning. You're so close to the end. Just keep working uh, on yourself here, okay? You hold the power, like I said, with that lover's card, your card being present. There's going to be work being put in, but you're still short one more pentacle really here uh, to complete the cycle. There's a whole cycle. You could be dealing with a twin as well, but regardless, there's lessons still to be learned here, but you just keep getting that progression, you know, keep working on yourself here. They will be returning, okay? And that's what I have for Gemini. Moving on to Aquarius. Oh, excuse me. Okay. All right. So this has been a tough cycle. You could be dealing with either a soulmate here or a high priestess does represent twin flame. Okay. Regardless, this person is definitely your wish fulfillment, but it's been a very tough cycle. Now, this is where it goes 50-50, okay? It's not going to resonate with everyone with the yay or the nay kind of thing. But definitely the Queen of Swords is known for, hey, welcome back. Here I am. I'm communicating. Could be dealing with another air sign energy with that Queen of Swords energy. But definitely the Queen of Swords is also known for the cutout queen. So when they return, you've already made your decision that you're done. You're done. You're cutting out that, taking that next step when they come back. It all depends on what you want, Aquarius, definitely. But I do feel that this has definitely been a tough cycle. You still feel that connection. You know, you want this wish fulfillment, but after deep thought, because she is air, okay? So uh, air signs do think uh, a lot, okay? So definitely it's going to be like a sway decision I just heard. You know, not everybody's going to resonate with one side nor the other, but definitely you know, choose wisely here because I do feel that, you know, you're loose, you're, you're loosening the strings. I just heard with this connection and trying to refocus on your life again and turning your back away from this connection. And some will just say, no, no, thank you. When they return, uh, no, thank you. I don't want this relationship back again. Whereas others, you still feel that connection. Okay. Uh, but definitely I feel that you're willing to put work back into it once they return. Okay, 
So that is what I have for not just Aquarius, but for all the air signs out there. Thank you all for watching. I truly appreciate it. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.